This is the Decathlon SH500 U-Warm Winter Jacket. It's one of seven new pieces of gear that I picked up this winter in order to help me be more comfortable and warm when I'm out on my outdoor adventures. Decathlon claims that this jacket can get you down to some pretty frosty temperatures, and it does that by utilizing a few different features. First, we're gonna talk about the hood because you probably noticed this fur lining on the outside of the hood. And what this does is it blocks wind and creates a warm bubble of air around your face. It's very effective. It's windy right now, and I do feel that little bubble of air around my face. The insulation of the jacket is synthetic. On the inside, it uses 400 grams per meter squared of synthetic insulation and then 200 grams per meter squared on the arms. So the core is a little bit warmer and then the arms have a little bit less insulation to reduce that bulk. With that insulation, Decathlon claims that this jacket will keep you warm down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. So it is a very warm jacket. It's good for a 2000 millimeter water column. So very waterproof and then all the seams are also taped. It's a very long jacket. So that helps keep your legs and butt warm. But then in order to facilitate movement, it has these side zippers. So you can undo these and then you're able to get a little bit more movement if you're going snowshoeing or cross country skiing or doing some sort of activity that requires more leg mobility. The best thing about this jacket is the price. It's only $170 US. So you're getting a lot of warmth and technical features on a jacket for a very low price. The con with it is that it's very heavy. It's, it's two kilograms or over four pounds for the size XL, which I'm wearing right now. It's a little bit too warm on this nice sunny day for that big warm jacket. So I've switched into my Decathlon Trek 100 down jacket. And while the other jacket is a little bit too big and bulky to carry in, the, in your pack, this, this next item, Nature Hike Down Pants, you can put these in your pack, no problem. They compress very small and they're very lightweight. They're made with a 20 denier shell fabric and then 800 power fill down, so very lightweight materials. They compress very small, so they're not very heavy in your pack, so I like to carry these and then use them once I get to camp. Overall, they weigh less than 250 grams, and then the price is not too bad at all. These cost under $50 US. As with a lot of products that come from China, these fit a little bit small. I have here the XL, and they fit me pretty well at a 5'10", 185 pound size. And then for winter camping, I like to use a stool. I find it's a little bit more stable on snow because you have a better distribution of your weight. And I have here the Hillsound BTR stool. This stool is very compressible, very small, and very lightweight. It only weighs 399 grams and is capable of carrying a load up to 240 pounds. The seat is nice and big for you, has a 17 inch seat on it, which is nice and big for a uh, for basically anyone out there and is a nice height as well. It achieves those weight savings by utilizing a mesh seat on there and then 701 grade aluminum for the legs. Out of all the stools that I've looked at and I've looked at a whole bunch for my winter camping needs, the BTR by Hillsound is the lightest weight and most compact out of all the ones out there. Next up, we have an item that you guys have seen on my first winter camping trip of 2021, and that's the Black Diamond Glide Lake skis. These are an awesome ski. I've been super excited to try these out and get them out on the trail, and they actually blew away my expectations on the first trip that I had them out on. So what they are is they're a really fat short ski. These are 147 centimeters, and then they have a built-in skin on the bottom. So this skin allows you to glide forward on snow, and because the hairs only go in one direction, they grip and don't allow you to slide backwards on snow. I find these a lot better on rolling or flat ground than snowshoes. In that kind of terrain, I find that I go about 50% faster than if I'm using snowshoes or just my hiking boots. So that glide ability definitely allows you to pick up some speed. What's really nice about them is that you can use your standard winter or hiking boots in them. You just put your foot into this binding, just kind of like a snowboard boot binding. And then the binding pivots like a cross country ski. So you're able to kind of kick and glide just like you would with a cross country ski. They're not cheap though, $470 US, but if you do get out for a lot of winter backcountry trips, especially on untracked terrain, then I think the glide light's gonna be a lot better for you than a pair of snowshoes. But if you are in steeper terrain or terrain that requires snowshoes, then I'm trying out a new pair of snowshoes this year that is very budget friendly. These are the Decathlon SH520 snowshoes. They cost just over $100, so very cheap for a snowshoe and are very technically capable as well. What I like about these versus some of the other Decathlon snowshoes out there is that they have a heel riser. So this heel riser snaps up, then it allows you to climb elevation a little bit easier without fatiguing your calves and leg muscles as much. It also has some nice traction devices on here, cramp on on the toe and the heel. 
I'm really excited for these ones. These are bigger than the other snowshoes that I have made by MSR. So they should do a little bit better in deeper snow. And they seem very well built. Metal rivets everywhere and metal attachments points. So I'm hoping that they're quite durable and don't have any failures over the course of the winter. I'm definitely gonna be putting it through their paces and not babying them at all. If you don't need such a technical snowshoe and you're on more established trails, then Decathlon also makes a snowshoe that is a little bit smaller and much cheaper at under $100 US. I'll post links to the, both those snowshoes as well as all the gear from today in the video description. I have another piece of clothing here, the Mountain Hardware Air Mesh shirt. It's made with a brand new technology, Tejan Okta. I'm not sure if I pronounced that properly, but what it entails is a bunch of little hair-like fibers on the inside of the shirt and then this mesh outer and it's phenomenally warm for the weight. It weighs 150 grams, so very lightweight, and I've used it down to minus five degrees Celsius when being active and it's done a very good job with those temperatures. It also helps regulate your temperatures very well. Because of those little hairs, any sort of wind that goes through the shirt is just gonna pull sweat right off of you, which saves having to have a molecular phase change like you'd need for a wicking fabric. Next up we have a stove. This is a titanium stove from Fire Maple, the Blade 2. And this is a really exciting stove for wintertime. It's the lightest remote canister stove that I could find that also has a preheating tube. So that preheating tube is essential during cold temperatures because the isobutane in your fuel canister is likely a liquid. So what happens with this is that all the liquid that's going through to the stove gets turned into gas because of the preheating tube. Remote canister stoves are also a little bit more effective because you can turn the canister upside down to get the flow of that liquid into the stove. The Blade 2 only weighs 135 grams, so very lightweight and very compact as well. A lot more compact than my MSR Whisper Lite. And it's not too expensive at only $70 US. If you're interested in my favorite gear from 2021, then go check out a video post right up in the corner there. A lot of really awesome gear that just blew my mind this year.